For my first trick, pulling the dog out of the hat. Thank you, Chippy. Now for some credits. Impressed, eh? Well, watch this. Try that again. The wand never fails. I'm getting the idea, and now for my next trick. Ah! Oh well, back to the old drawing board. Pretty good, huh? I'm entirely self taught you know. I can't believe you've watched this far. Get through it by now. I can smell burning. Hang on. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! I'd like to see you do better. I wonder if I can find a better dog in here. Wow! I didn't even have time to get a phone number. Now, for all you traditionalists... <laughs> knocks them dead every time. Now for the woman again. Never mind, I like a woman with spirit. This homework is really bugging me. I think I'll find the dog and put it in the dryer again. <coughs> so that's where you are. What's this? Ye oldie spell bookie. What a load of old rubbish. Okay, guys, this magic paper bring food. I thought I heard something. Alizigi, Alizangi, Alizongi, Alizongi. Dear Simon, I am pleased to announce that you have been chosen from literally hundreds of hopeful candidates to perform a death-defying but extremely worthwhile quest, for which you will be rewarded quite a lot. All you have to do is rescue me from the hands of the evil sorcerer Sordid. Feel free to use my extremely valuable spellbook and dog to assist you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Wish you were here. Love and kisses. Calypso, Grand High Wizard of the Village of Fleur-de-Lis. 
P.S. Before you can use the spell book, you must become a wizard. There are some wizards hanging around in the local tavern who can help you. P.P.S. Use this magic postcard and map to help you. Oh, great! I'm stuck here in this stinking world in these stinking clothes and not a pizza bar in sight! Lucky this is just a dream or I'd be really worried. Oh look! There's a pair of scissors in here! I've already got it. this old thing. Good morrow, lad. Do you know where Calypso has got to? Nah, but then that old geezer is always going off without telling anybody. Collecting magical ingredients, he says. Who knows what sort of harm could befall him, especially with that sordid character running about. What do you know about sordid? Very little. He lives up in the craggy peaks and generally keeps himself to himself. He's boosted my trade tenfold, though. How is Sordid helping to boost business? It's a long story. Apparently, he wants to take over the entire world using black magic. Anyway, as a result, all the heroes are donning rusty armor again and coming back into service. All of them seeing themselves as the saviors of the world. The thing is, though, they all stop here for a drink on the way. I've seen all sorts go through here. Warriors, wizards, priests, assassins, and not one has been seen again. So what? I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. So he may be a bit power crazy and all that, but who isn't these days? Old fella keeps himself to himself. He don't bother us, we don't bother him, and that's that. Nice talking to you. So long. See ya. Hello. What do you want, boy? Hello. What are you on, kiddo? Get out of here. Hi. I'm doing a survey for Warrior Weekly. Would you care to take part? Okay, then. Do you know anything about the evil wizard Sordid? That's why we're here, actually. We've journeyed from the far northern steppes to battle with him, through the perilous wastelands of Kring, pausing only to defeat the evil tribe of Wedgie the Merciless, across the plains of death and the fields of doom, where we liberated the city of Tormer from the dark hordes of Kalish. We're now preparing to attack the sorcerer's tower and save the world. Again! No more questions, ladies. See ya. You'd better give us a good review. Or else... Phew, it's awfully hot in here. Where did you say we were? We're in a quaint rural village, according to...
according to the guide. And making no progress with our task. We only just got here. We'll find the bloody thing. Apparently, the renegade warlock sorted was last seen in this area. I hope we don't run into you. Mm, that's put me right off my beer. I remember sorted it in the circle. Right, little boy. Glad to get rid of him. Time for another game. I'll be the North Wind this time. You yeah, wonder where old Calypso could be. Yeah, odd him not being at home. He might be out collecting ingredients. We'll look for him in the morning. He might know something about the bloody staff. Shush. Our mission's top secret. Well, I'm bloody fed up with the damn thing. We've been searching for it for the past three months. At least we know roughly where it is now. If you hadn't broke the detector thingy, how was I supposed to know it wasn't waterproof? Well, the circle's got to have something to say about it. Delicate and valuable piece of apparatus, that was. Where did this game come from anyway? That short man with the strange eyes gave it to us, remember? Excuse me? Yes, boy? I want to be a wizard. Oh, like... We baint be wizards, baint we? No, who are? We be humble farmers like. I baint be be no more magical like than a potato who are. You sure you're not wizards? Quite sure, lad. We be country folk, board and wholemeal bread, who are. Are you sighing? We be fakes like. Yep. What makes you think we're wizards anyway, like? When I move my mouse pointer over you, it says wizards. Oh, fair enough, I suppose. Disguise is off, lads. What did you want to speak to us about anyway? I want to be a wizard. You? A wizard? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, ha 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 ha? My dear boy, you can't just jump into wizardry just like that. It requires years of study. Come back next century when you're older. Right, have we to listen to me for a second? Yes, mate. I'll do anything to be a wizard. Anything? Anything? Well, you could do us a little favour. You see, all you wizards must perform a service to the circle before being, um, properly invested. Isn't that right, brothers? Mmm, yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Hey, just name it and I'll do it. It's like this, see? We would be extremely interested in acquiring a certain magical implement. It's a magical staff rumoured to be hidden in this area. And we would like you to find it for us. What does this staff look like? It's about six feet tall with a crystal sphere on one end. And then I get made a wizard, right? If you find us the staff, then we'll invest you on the spot. Any ideas where it is? As far as we know, its last owner was Nathlin, the necromancer. What he did with it when he died is beyond me. Tricky types, those necromancers. Always messing about with embalming, fluid and giblets. No problem. We look forward to your return. I've got two chows, two pongs, and a comb.
Did you say... Hey, me? Yes. What do you want? You interested in any... Priceless antique porcelain figurines? Not really. Dang, crafted by the ancient ones of Grail. No thanks. I've got lots of other priceless antiques. Anyone for a gold piece? Sorry, I'm really not interested. Who needs your custom anyway? Excuse me, uh, boy? Yeah? Um, uh, well, uh, I can't quite remember. Uh, never mind. Right. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's um, you again. Have you remembered what it was you wanted yet? Wanted? Uh, did I want something? Yes. What um, did I want? I don't know. You couldn't remember. Nonsense. I can... Uh, uh, remember? Remember everything. I'm... Uh, uh, wise owl. I'm just not very good with... Uh, uh, words? Words, yes. Have you got any hints for me? Hints? Uh, yes. You must be... Uh, um, Handsome? No. Uh, Suave? No, no. Um, your name? Simon? That's it. Yes. Um, so... What advice have you got? Well, the, uh, stars told me, uh, I'm an, uh, uh, Idiot? No. Uh... Owl? No. Uh... Astrologer? Yes, uh, astrologer, yes. Go on then, what's my future? Future? Yes, um, future. I have some, uh, advice. Yes? Small, uh, rocks are often, um, helpful. Is that all? For the, uh, moment, yes. Great. Come back, um, um... Later? Yes, uh... I don't think I'll bother, thanks. Can you help me, boy? What appears to be the problem? It's this thorn. I got it stuck in my foot and I can't get it out. Let's have a look at it then. Soon have this out. It might sting a bit. Bro! 
There we are. All done. Thank you so much. I'm forever in your debt. Think nothing of it. Okay, but here, take this whistle. If you ever need any help, just blow it and I'll be there. Thanks. What a nice guy. says, caution, paleontological dig in process. Hello? Is there anybody down there? Ain't nobody here but those chickens. Have you got a permit for this, sir? Permit? Do you not know who I am? No, I don't. I'm the famous Dr. Von Jones. Of course, the renowned digger of deep holes. Philistine, I'm the most famous paleontologist in the world. I'm looking for the missing link between man and vegetables. You mean Dan Quayle? No, I mean fossils, my boy. They are the key to this mystery. You haven't seen any lying around, have you? If you do see any, be sure to let me know. Okay. Please go now. I've reached a new seam of very promising rock strata. I can tell when I'm not wanted. This jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other vegetables. Excuse me. You're not the regular person. He's sick. No. Oh, okay then. Tell the delivery boy we'll leave it outside when we finish making it up. Okie dokie. chalked on it. What shall I do? Excuse me? Yeah? You look like you need cheering up. No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. That's easy for you to say. What did I do to deserve this? What exactly is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. 
the big hard brown things with green bits? Trees, yes. How can a tree be a problem? It's not all trees, just the ones around here. What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The blows of my axe just bounce off. Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. Now I know why none of the others came here. Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of Milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of Mithril. It's also the hardest metal known to man. Well, there you are then. Problem solved. No, it isn't. Milrith is incredibly rare. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it. Rare? What, like uncooked meat? Not really. Rare, as in a straight real estate salesman. I spoke to the dwarves about it and they just laughed and gave me this metal detector. Give me the metal detector, and I'll have a look round. Okay. You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. How will I live? I'll have to sell everything. Hear something? Just a bit of balsa or plywood. We're not fussy. I must be hearing things. I could have sworn I heard a voice. I think I need to sit down. Get off me! I couldn't breathe under there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. There has to be some sort of logical explanation for this. You could at least look at me when you're talking to me. Just because I'm begging doesn't mean I'm a bad person. I was talking to the player, not you. Oh, right. So, you got any spare wood or not? Are you trying to build yourself up again or something? Huh? We're woodworm. We need wood to live. This stump's just about had it. Sorry, I didn't realise you were woodworm. You didn't honestly think you were talking to a tree stump, did you? No, of course not. That's all right then. How come you woodworm are talking anyway? That's just so typical. You just presume we don't talk. Just because... 
because we're woodworm. Let me tell you something, mate. Your attitude is bloody typical of humanity in general. It makes me sick. You never talk to us. You just presume that woodworm can't talk. It's just racism to the third degree. Look, I didn't mean to offend anyone. That's what they all say. One misplaced foot and ten of my best friends never breathe again. I'm sorry, okay? How can I make it up to you? Well, what we would really like is some really good quality wood. Something with real class. Teak, for example. Or gopher wood? I reckon driftwood. Driftwood? Ebony, yeah. What about balsa? I love a bit of balsa. Ebony, balsa, ebony, driftwood. Shut up! Shut up yourself, fatso. Fatso? Look who's talking, blubber bum! Young hooligan, have some respect. Shut up, Granddad. I reckon it should be oak. And I say balsa. I still agree with teak. Who cares what you think? Watch it, mate, or I'll do you an injury. Oh, yeah? Yeah! It's been ages since we had gopher wood! It's been ages since we had any wood! Teak! Balsa! Oak! Mahogany! Good idea! I fancy a bit of mahogany! Yeah! I still prefer teak! Shut up! Mahogany it is, then! Fine! Anything to help a woodworm in distress. You won't regret this, you know! I'd better knock. Nobody home. I have a bad feeling about this. It's a strong wooden trunk. I wonder if it's the one from Sleeping Beauty. I used to make these things when I was younger. Somehow I don't think this one's lucky. It looks like the sort of thing a witch might fly on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ain't no one ever told you not to steal from a witch? Excuse me, I've got a train to catch. I'd better not be seeing you around here again. Yes, ma'am. Phew, that was a close one. to make myself fat. <laughs> then I'm gonna gobble you up. Oh no, please don't gobble me up. I'm far too little and not at all fat. Wait until the second Billy Goat Gruff comes along. He's much fatter than I am. 
very well. Be off with it. Hang on a minute. I've fallen for this before. If we keep going on like this, then I get butted into the river again. No, no, no! That's all wrong. Referring you to page 23 of the text, I say the he's much fatter than I am bit, at which point you say, very well, be off with you. And then you wait for the second Billy Goat Gruff and so on. It's dead easy. Listen, Mr. Gruff. Every day I get knocked into the bloody river and I'm fed up with it. I'm starving. Therefore, contrary to the popular children's tale, I'm going to eat you and pop your friend there in the fridge. Now come on, Mr. Uh, Troll. You signed the contract for this job, so say a bit and let me pass, or start cleaning out your office. Let me tell you something. I don't care for this job or the office. In fact, I'm about to terminate my contract with the Gruff, Gruff and Gruff Corporation by eating one of my employers. Can't we be reasonable here? It doesn't make sound economic sense for you to do that. Why don't we talk this over like civilized adults? Survival of the fittest, I'm afraid, Mr. Gruff. Let's examine basic survival instincts for a moment. I'm a big, powerful carnivore, and you are a weak, defenseless herbivore. By rights, I should be currently cleaning your remains out of my teeth. Referring you once again to the text, you will observe that by refraining from eating me, you will have the opportunity to devour my somewhat larger brother over there. Mr. Gruff, you've always been a considerate employer. I've always had my Christmas bonus, etc. So I've decided not to eat you, but to take industrial action in the state. I am forming a picket line. No one may cross the bridge until further notice. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Troll. May I cross the bridge, please? No, no one may cross the bridge until I have satisfaction. Luckily for you, I'm a traveling satisfaction salesman. Really? Perhaps you can tell me what satisfaction is. Why are you unhappy? Every day these juicy, fat billy goats come down here across the bridge. I know how the story goes and all that, but I'm dying of starvation. Until I get a goat to eat, no one may cross the bridge. Why don't you just eat these two now? These two are protected. Their big brother is a really tough customer, you know. Believe me, I should know. If I lay a claw on them, then... You're scared of a billy goat. This is no ordinary billy goat. He's 12 feet long, horns like you've never seen. All I want is some goat to eat. How would you like your goat? Food would be nice. It's been ages since I had stew goat. I'll see what I can do for you, okay? Okay. Hang on a minute. What's with the whistle around your neck? Why don't you have a go and find out? They say curiosity killed the troll, but here goes. Huh, hope you don't like. Now we're worry. Oh yeah, I was just going to suggest eating you in. Is this guy bothering you? Yeah, sick him. Righty ho. Oh, King. You've been picking on my friend. No, 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 sir. He seems to think otherwise. Ow. What should I do with him? Chuck him in the stream. Okie dokie. Everything okay now? Yeah, thanks a lot. See ya.
what appears to be the problem. Are you a farmer? Do I look like a farmer? No, but you could be wearing a costume. I see. Know anything about magic beans? What beans? Magic beans. I've swapped them for a cow with a peddler. He said they were magic beans and would lead to fortune and glory. And? I planted them there, but they haven't grown an inch yet. Maybe you should water them. Water them? Why would I want to do that? Um, to make them grow? That sounds like a good idea. I'll tell you what. You go and get the water, and I'll keep watch. I'm one step ahead of you, mate. Well, don't just stand there then. Pour it on the seeds. You drown them. I have to go and dry them out now. I think this is my cue to exit. I'm just passing through. Oh. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Thirty-six, twenty-four, thirty-eight hundred. Oh, curses! It's broken. This is your lucky day. I just happen to own a musical instrument repair parlour. I can have it done up for you in no time. Really? Sure. Just hand it over and I'll return it within an hour.
I'd better knock. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Huh? Oh, it is so nice to have Persian come visit me! I is so pleased! Well, actually, I think I've got the wrong house. Wow! I thought you were my first birthday friend! I thought you'd come to play with me! for my birthday. No one ever comes to see me anymore. Oh, don't cry. I've come to see you. Sit, sit. I bring special birthday stew. Hang on, I didn't agree to... Friend, I give my friend special swamp stew. Ancient and secret recipe handed down from swampling to swampling for generations. I can't eat that. I'll die. Well, nobody likes swampling cooking no more. I spent hours making stew and then I no one comes to eat here now. <laughs> if it makes you any happier, I'll eat your stew. Goody! I'm very pleased with this batch. Extra woodlouse works well. I wish this was happening to you instead of me. I think I hear someone. I think some more friends have arrived. <coughs> no one there. I hope you like it. Plenty more for friend. No more for me, thanks. I'm stuffed. Eat up. It's good for you. Oh, no. Okay, just one more bowlful. Eat up! It's good for you! Oh no! That was a lucky escape! I feel lucky. I'm going to do this very carefully. Wow, that sure is strong metal. I've already found the mill rift.
says, warning, spontaneously combustible substance. My God, it's a real dragon. Well, what did you expect in a dragon's cave? This isn't happening. I wouldn't hang about if I were you. I've got a fearful cold and consequently am not fully in control of my breath. Lucky I was wearing my asbestos underwear. That's an interesting rock. It has a fossil in the middle of it. What are you staring at, mate? You can talk? Give the kid a cigar. That's amazing. No, it's just magic. What sort of magic? The usual sort, you know? There's loads of it around here. That's why it's so cold. The magic has mutated and made it into perpetual winter. Speaking of which, I'm a powerful sorcerer. Well, you must know a lot about magic, then. Do you know any magic? Well, I've picked up the odd word or two as I went along. Can't quite remember what they do, though. Tell me them. Tell me them. It'll cost you, I'm afraid. I seem to spend forever running errands for people. Everyone's good at something. What do you want? See this pink splodge? Yeah? It's paint. Yeah? It means that bloody woodcutter will be coming along later to chop me down. What do you want me to do about it? You could remove the paint for me. What's it worth? If you do it for me, then I'll tell you some magic words. Okay, sounds fair to me. You can probably get some white spirit at the shop in the village. Righty-ho. Hurry up, though. I'm on it.
I don't believe it! This is an extremely lucky find indeed. It's an amoeba from the Cambrian period. This could be it! Will I be as famous as you for this? Of course, of course! Just tell me where you found this specimen, my boy. It's in the craggy peaks. I left my metal detector there. Excellent! I shall journey there immediately. Let me just get my things together. Calling International Rescue. There's no fossils down here. Not even the right soil structure. How am I going to get out of this hole? Oh dear. What would I want with dirt? A pile of dirt excavated by Dr. Von Jones. There's also some Milrith ore here. I forgot my rope to get out with. What would I want with dirt? Wait till I get my hands on that kid. What would I want with dirt? I hate that kid. Drat! Can you do anything with this? I can do anything you want with such fine metal. Good, because I need an axe head made for me. No problem, as long as I can keep what's left over. Sure. Why didn't I listen to my mother? I don't believe it. Lady Luck must be shining on me today. I'm off to try it out. Watch out, trees. Here I come. As a matter of fact, I have. Woodworm, attack! <laughs> that was 
was wonderful. Cozy in this hat, isn't it? I wouldn't know. Mind if we hang around here for a while? Damn sight better than a bloody stump. No problem. If you need us for anything, just shout, okay? Fine. I think I'll catch 40 winks. See ya. Weird.
I can live without thousand-year-old bandages, thank you. Excuse me? Yes? Don't hurt us. Don't let them hurt us, precious nice hobbits. I hope this isn't an infringement of copyright. Don't worry. It's just the annual meeting of the Tolkien Appreciation Society. What's with a fishing rod? It's like this. Every year one of us gets chosen to get lunch. I haven't had so much as a nibble yet. Luckily, I happen to have some top-quality, highly nutritious swamp stew with me. Really? That's excellent. Will this go around 40 people? It's concentrated. Just add boiling water and stir. Thanks a lot. You can have the fishing rod in return. Ta. I'll go and join the others looking for the ring. What ring? The ring. I could have sworn I had it on me when I started fishing. I'd better take it off before I wear it out. Took some beeswax from the hive.
again? Yeah. I'd like a wet wizard, please. Hang on a moment. I've blocked the nozzle on the barrel with the wax. I'm sorry, sir. I can't seem to find any sparrow juice at the moment. That's okay. I'm underage anyway. Wait here, kid. I've got something for you. Hey, kid. Take one of these leaflets home to your dad. Happy hour at the Drunken Druid. Ale for one gold piece a mug. There's also a free beer voucher attached. Good thing I've got a big hat. Get rid of him! Duty dwarves only! Do you accept bribes? 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 What did you have in mind? Hang on a minute! It had better be good! Care for some beer by any chance? I'm on duty! But I suppose one mag can't hurt! Bring it down, will you? Okie dokie. This way. Bring it over here. Now, how about a drinking competition? A sharp exit. Where is that lazy slunk? He must have gone for a beer break. I ho, I ho, it's all to a we go. La 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 I ho, I ho, it's all to a we go. La 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 Excuse me. Yes. I don't know. I hoped a relevant question would appear. What? Where does this door go? It's the treasury. All our gems are kept here. So, how long have you been in war? Man and boy, never an interval. Four foot eye in the eye. 
what never, no, never, what never, well, hardly ever. Do you know why you find it ridiculous? Well, the dwarf in charge of king in the day is, um, how this jailbreaker is probably drunk in the beer of ridiculous Must be off. You know how it is. I ho, I ho, it's all so as we go. La 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 ho, 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 ho. Cool. Oi, get out of here. This is restricted area. I've come to make you an offer. Really? What sort of an offer? I've got something in my inventory that you want. What's that then? Well... What's this? Happy hour at the drunken druid and a free voucher? How can I ever repay you? Nice pile of gems you got there. Just one, though. Here you are. Now clear off. And stay out. I ho, I ho, it's off to a we go. La 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 ho. Shut up. Hey, mate, you interested in a priceless gem? Good, uh, I'll have a look at it. Hmm, this is nice. Very nice. Dwarf and I'll wager. Hmm, it's one of those gems that changes colour. I'll give you four pieces for it. Don't make me laugh. I want at least 40. 40 gold pieces? Huh. I won't go any higher than 10. I don't think we see eye to eye on this, pal. Okay. 15 pieces. But only because I like the look of you. Let's call it a nice even 20 and be done with it. Okay, okay. 18 gold pieces it is. Uh, 20 then? But you drive a hard bargain, no mistake. I bet go and put it somewhere safe. Bye. I wonder how he did that. The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Yeah, I, I disagree. It should be put here with the other... I would like to buy this. That will be one gold piece. Okay, here you are. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. I would like to buy this. That will be two gold pieces. Okay, here you are. It comes with a free nail. Anything else, sir? I just like to browse. It's 
dark in here. Lucky I'm only small. I wonder when we'll get there. I'd better put the ring on now. Well, either I can still see myself, or the ring needs recharging. Hang on a moment. Oh, I had it on backwards. There are loads of empty cardboard boxes. My spell book's in this one. I finally got my spell book back. There's a loose piece of paper in it. been carelessly left in the lock. That doesn't work. It's covered in scribblings. It looks like someone has been trying to use my spell book. There's nothing to catch the key with. There's nothing to catch the key with. It was never designed to be opened. It's not locked. Are you the druid from the village? Who are thou that hast voice but no presence? Panic ye not. I've come to rescue you. Do not joke with me, Hellspawn. Yes, I'm the village druid, and you are in league with the hordes of darkness. What makes you think that? I can smell the unnaturalness about you like a foul odor. Be gone, Prince of Darkness. Look, let's be reasonable for a moment. I shall listen to no more lies from you. Leave now, or suffer the consequences. I'm sorry I spoke, okay? Goodbye. deceiveth me, or tis a young boy in this den of filth. See? 
I told you I wasn't evil. Fie! Tis you, demon prince. Thou shalt not fool me with thy disguise. Look, okay. I am not a demon. Got that? There is a simple test. What is this simple test? It is a well-known fact that the only true way to destroy a demon is to plunge a silver dagger through its heart. If the creature dies, then it's a demon. If it lives, then its heart is pure, and so we sacrifice it. I expect you find a lot of demons by this method. Never been wrong yet. silver dagger at home. Never mind. I've got one right here. Uh, on second thoughts. Are you afraid, Hellspawn? Wouldn't you be if a lunatic druid wanted to stick a silver dagger through your heart? Okay, let's use the less reliable but more convenient trial. See this silver cross around my neck? Place it against your forehead. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Only if you're a foul, evil, depraved son of the devil, hellspawn beast. Okay, let's do it. Very well. Goodbye, cruel world. Yow! So, you are a servant of evil. Did you enjoy the feel of the burning hot fire of good? What? That thing was freezing cold. It gave me quite a shock. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better take it all back then. Jeez. So, what's the escape plan then? Well... I don't know. Got any bright ideas? Well, uh, let me see. Are you any good with a sword? No. Can you cast powerful spells? Yeah, no. Looks like we're stuck then. Unless, of course, you can use some special druidic power to free us. It's not as easy as that. Flower... druidic magic comes from nature. All I can do without some nature handy is polymorph. Poly what? All druids are capable of turning into another animal. It happens when they see a full moon. Which animal can you change into? A frog. A frog? Something wrong with that, is there? No, no, no. But... A frog. I can't help it. It was chosen for me by the head of the order. Well, I'm sure that'll be of some use. An idea with merit, but not particularly practical. An idea with merit, but not particularly practical. An idea with merit, but not particularly practical. Can I please put this bucket on your head? Why? Do you have some sort of plan? Yes, I've got a plan. I'd better hide until he gets back with help. I'll put the ring back on. I must have run the batteries out. You'd better get others. Oh dear. That does make me big baddie. Ow! Extreme acupuncture. I think my hay fever's cured though. I'm coming now, so watch it. Aha! I can't see no one. No, no one in here. In behind you. What? <laughs> Not funny. You on cleaning duty for a week? 
Please not, Captain. Have mercy. I no like look of things. We go get more gobos. I third that, Captain. I can't do anything while stuck in here. That was hot in there. I need a drink. I can see the dragon's treasure down there. This is silly. Everyone knows gold isn't magnetic. That wasn't much of a hoard. Forty one gold pieces. Your problems are solved. I'm 
very grateful. So, how about those magic words? Okay. I don't know what they do, so be careful. What are they? Alakazam. Hocus Pocus. Abracadabra. And sausages. Sausages? Yep. Very powerful magic word is that. I really do think I've been taken for a ride here. At least I'm not going to be chopped down anymore. Does anyone have any pink spray paint?
Tony Smith, the apothecary's taverna, your number one for love potions, cure-alls, and tri- Oh, it's you. I'm on a real important quest. Can you help? I expect you were looking for some free potions since you rescued me. That would be nice, yes. Okay, I do have an exceedingly good potion I'm prepared to give you. However, it's a collector's item, and you must only use it as a last resort. Okay, hand it over. There is another condition, though. How did I know this was coming? If you want his fine potion, then you'll have to get me something. I need a special herb to help control my froggy condition. It's called Frog's Bane. My sources inform me that it can only be found on a place called Skull Island. If you find it, then you can have the potion. Do we have a... Ribbit. I suppose I'll have to get it now, or I'll never get hold of that potion. do exactly? Don't you know any magic words? Of course I do. You'll soon get the hang of it then. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Here goes nothing. That's one nil to you! Wow! Sausages! That's two nil to you! Wow! Sausages! That's three nil to you! Wow! Well done! Does that mean I win? Sort of! Well, what do you know? I won! I guess I'll just take my prize and clear off then. Now who's won, huh? Uh, no dragons? Did I say no dragons? Now you come to mention it, I don't believe you did. Well, I will give you a chance to defend yourself. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. This must be my lucky day. Except that now I've got a terrible craving for cheese. Come out and fight like a mouse!
I... Sit! Sit! I bring you... Lovely Stew! Oh no! Not again! I won't have to eat any more of that stuff. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. Whoa, uh, this plank. Whoa, uh, this plank is loose. That doesn't work. Magical map is used to speed around the
Ribbit. I found it. Rip. Uh, thank you. I guess you want that potion now. Here you are. Though I'm loath to part with it. That's okay. I was loath to part with the frog's bane. I see. It has the words, drink me, on the bottle. I shall not be stopped by a lump of water and a carrot. <laughs> you shall not pass. I'm walking in the air. You shall not pass. Excuse me. You shall not pass. Stuff. How typical, just when I thought I was getting somewhere. Much throttle there. Oh. There's a little crack in the door down here. Hello, boy. How did you get in here? <laughs> really? Oh, I see. Hey, put me down, you mangy mutt. Ugh. What's that smell? Remind me to change your dog food when we get home. You've got a killer hairball here, boy. I'll get it for you. That was disgusting. There's a matchstick in here. I'll just pick it up. I think I'm in some sort of gigantic garden.
I'll leave it here. It's too big to pick up. A garden tap which is caked with rust. It's stiff with rust. I can't reach them from here. I've pulped them into oil. I've run aground. There's not enough water to cross the puddle. My hat isn't waterproofed. There's a little tadpole swimming in it. Would you excuse me, please? I need to get past. Oh, poo. Ah! Hey, I'm alive. But where the hell am I? Hey, I'm inside the frog. Yuck. Out of the way or the tadpole gets it. I guess I showed him. Bye bye, little friend. It's a magical mushroom with eat me written on it.
Some sort of earth tremor. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm out of here. <laughs> I hope that thing is gone. What do you know, Max? An intruder. Intruder? Yeah. I bet, like, he's come to deal with sordid. Sordid? Yeah. Shall we, like, go and tell him? Tell him? Yeah. We couldn't just sit there while the boss gets, you know, done over. Done over? Yeah. Then again, we could just do our jobs and, you know, just eat the intruder. Like eat him. Or... Ignore him. Okay, then.
Does like two orc eyes and a goblin tooth beat a triple dragon? I uh again. Yeah. What are you? What do we look like? Your shake, Max. Well, you look like demons. <laughs> Not bad. But what we actually are is, you know, uh, angry, uh, annoyed, bothered, cross, displeased, exasperated, flustered, harassed, irritable, nettled, out of humour, peeved, peaked, put out, riled, ruffled, and vexed. Uh, ain't we, Max? Irritated. Yeah. Why are you irritated? I hear you ask. Why are you irritated? It doesn't matter. I can tell you're not interested in, you know, our problems. Is he, Max? Not interested. <laughs> yeah. Dying his smokes. It's not big and it's not clever, you know. It's alright. We've got loads, ain't we? Loads, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah? Why do you stay here if you're dissatisfied? We don't have any, like, choice. Sordid won't let us go. What's with this sordid guy anyway? He wants to, you know, rule the universe, doesn't he? Rule, yeah. I blame the parents. Parents, yeah. How does he intend to do that? Those fascinating statues downstairs ain't just decoration, you know. Sordid turned all the people that tried to stand in his way into like, stone. Now there's just a bunch of, like, elegant hat stands. Hat stands? Yeah. He read about it in a book. Is there any way to restore them? Dunno. I suppose there must be. Dunno what it is, though. Anyway, if I were you, I'd get out of here as, like, Fast as possible, while Sword is still in a bar. Bar. Yeah. Okay, I'm scared. Show me the door. Sorry, but, like, the only way out is through the teleporter in this room. Personally, I'm blowed if I'm gonna tell you how to use it. Oh, please. No. Why won't you tell me? We're demons. We don't work for the good of the people, you know. People, yeah. What do you want? All we want, like, is a return to the pit whence we came of, you know. Pit, yeah. All you have to do, like, is find the wizard powerful enough. Look no further. I, Simon the Sorcerer, will save you. Pardon my lack of confidence, oh mighty one, but like, you're hardly a wizard at all. Oh yeah? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. And what makes you think I'm not a wizard, eh? I've met a few wizards in my time, like, and they're all fat, chemical stained, befuddled old fools. Fools. Yeah. I'm quite befuddled, I'll have you know. I can't be bothered to, like, argue. If you are a wizard, then send us back to the pit, and in return, we'll tell you how to use the Teleport. Teleport? Yeah. Right then, I'll just go and get prepared. I guess I'd better, like, 
pack my bags then. Bags. Yeah. It's sorted spellbook. It looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons' true names. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Look, I need to know your true demonic names. <laughs> I'm sorry, did something amusing happen? Reveal our true names. What a laugh. Laugh. <laughs> What's a laugh? Listen, Sonny. Everyone knows, like, that a demon never reveals his true name to anyone. It's traditional. Traditional? Yeah. They're also embarrassing. I really need to know your true names. No can, like, do, I'm afraid. There isn't any mouse blood lying about, is there? Sorry, used it all up in the, you know, sorry stew. Just grab a live mouse, that usually does a trick. Trick, yeah. Back in a bit, just gotta sort a few details. Oh good. We can hardly like wait. Wait. Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Well it ain't you, that's for sure. What's the matter? Never seen a talking mirror before? <laughs> oh, get a grip, will you? La di da, a talking mirror. I'm actually a magical scrying mirror. I can see out of any reflective surface anywhere in the world. Just name the place and you can hear and see it as if you were there. You're some kind of spying device? I prefer the term surveillance. Sordid uses me to assist him in hatching evil plots. He's a sod, though. You know how long it's been since I last had a good polish. He treats me like some sort of slave. I've got feelings, you know. Do you require my services now? What's it like being a mirror? On reflection, I'm really hung up about it. <laughs> oh, it was funny down the pub. Hilarious. There's nothing I want from a talking mirror. Do you require my services now? There's nothing I want from a talking mirror. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I really need to know your true names. No can, like, do, I'm afraid. Back in a bit, just gotta sort a few details. Oh good, we can hardly like, wait. Wait, yeah. It's sorted spellbook, it looks just like mine. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demon's true names. That doesn't work. I don't think he'd find any use for it. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit, just gotta sort a few details. Oh good, we can hardly like, wait. Wait, yeah.
Do you require my services now? Show me the lab on the top floor, there's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. You're not here to ask questions, get on with it. Hey kid, what's bitten you? Never mind, here goes. Why are you like so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grab It? Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grab It? It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. Suppose not. Belch Grab It and Snog Fundle. I've seen enough. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mirror. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit. Just gotta sort a few details. Oh good. We can hardly like... Wait. Wait. Yeah. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit. Just gotta sort a few details. Oh good. We can hardly like... Wait. Wait. Yeah. It tells you all about magic wands. It says that the only way a magic wand can be destroyed is to throw it into the fiery pits of Rondor. There's a spell here to return demons to hell. You need a double square with eight candles, a mouse and a human skull. You also need to know the demons true names. There's eight of them. Hello again. Got it sorted then. Back in a bit. Just gotta sort a few details. Oh good. We can hardly like... Wait. Wait. Yeah. That doesn't work. I'm saving it for sorted. Thank you.
It's already open. a suspiciously smelling pouch. It's a mouse hood. It's a suspiciously smelling pouch. It's a mouse hood. How am I supposed to do that? I've already got it. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I'll just draw a quick magic square on the floor. Yeah, you can borrow my chalk. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work? Yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate the light. Teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without the password. Password? Yeah. And we don't, like, know it. Take it away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. Zabag, Zinza, Zenog, Yarmak, Zog. Looks like we're stuck. Wow, that really tingled. I hope it worked okay. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. It would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. <laughs> Special rates for mighty wizards? 
mighty wizards go free. Why do you ask anyway? Because I am a mighty wizard. And I'm the tooth fairy. Why do I get the impression he doesn't believe me? Would you like to barter for a ticket? Okay, I'll swap you one gold piece for the ticket. I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. And one was a wizard. Sorted. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fellow. Now, are you going to pay up or not? You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. No, I don't. The fate of my job depends on it. It looks absolutely awful to me anyway. I told you, you can't go in without paying. Plastic band around them. What do you want me to use it on? What do you want me to use it on? Fire! I'm out of here. Destroy the wand and save Calypso. Sordid and all his magic couldn't get this thing working. You expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? Here goes. Now all the statues should return to normal. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not only have I rid the world of Sordid, but I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. I just had a thought.
really sorry. Can we call it quits? I'm not interested in your pathetic, whinging little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly and with great suffering. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Say your prayers, little wizard. <laughs> Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? Oh. Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job with the wand. We've all turned back to normal. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit, okay? Uh, okay. See you in a bit. Bye. What did I want? Just to tell me my life policy is cancelled. Okay then. Get ready for pain such as you never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? Can I have a last request? Uh, let me think about it for a moment. Uh, no! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! It's time for you to die! <laughs> Hundreds of razor sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Nice try, loser. You'll have to do better than that to beat me. This time, I'll make sure you die. something to your fans? Don't miss next year's sequel. Don't hold your breath. I'm not going through all that again. Phew, what an awful dream. I guess I must have dropped off. <coughs> Looks like I've no say about the sequel. 